the right, 330. The no's to the left, 231. After years of turmoil and uncertainty, Britain's parliament has finally spoken. The UK will become the first country to leave the European Union. The vote marked a major milestone in the country's drawn-out efforts to leave the bloc. The bill now needs to be passed by the unelected House of Lords and ratified by Brussels in order to become law, but neither are likely to oppose it, paving the way for Brexit to happen by the scheduled deadline of January 31st, a departure that would only be the first step. Once this bill has been passed and the withdrawal agreement ratified, we will proceed swiftly to the completion of a free trade deal with the EU by the end of December 2020. Once it leaves the bloc, the UK will need to negotiate its future relationship with the EU, which has warned of tough talks ahead. Boris Johnson is seeking a wide-ranging free trade deal while ditching EU rules and regulations, something Brussels is unlikely to agree to, as it fears unfair competition from the UK. We will insist in this negotiation on making our partner, economic partnership subject to a level playing field on environmental and social standards, stated policy and tax matters. The two sides have until the end of the year to agree on topics ranging from trade to taxes and the environment, a timeline Brussels has called unrealistic. But with Boris Johnson having rejected the EU's extension offer and ruled out further delays to Brexit, there are fears the UK could end up leaving without a deal.